Welcome back to another edition to my A24 Takeover Movie Marathon. If you want to know why I'm only doing A24 movies, you can check out my last video where I watched A24's Talk To Me and I explain all the reasons why I'm only doing A24 movies. And today's A24 movie is the very coveted movie of 2022. Today, we're going to be watching Pearl. And one thing you need to know before we get started with today's commentary is that Pearl is actually a prequel to the horror movie X. And both of these movies star Mia Goth and there's actually a, another addition to the X trilogy called Maxine coming out I think in 2024 or maybe even 2025 now. Both X and Pearl came out in 2022. Pearl was already filmed by the time X came out. It was a very planned planned success in my opinion and I am excited to be watching it with you guys today. If you guys want to watch my video on X which I've already done there will be a link in the description or uh, up here like in the links so make sure you guys go watch that. You guys can watch Pearl and X in any order you want to. It really doesn't matter. You can watch Pearl and then X or you can watch X and then Pearl. I watched X and then Pearl because that's how the movies came out. And without further ado let's get started. Pearl actually became one of the most talked about movies in 2022, um, turning into one of the biggest viral jokes on the internet. And after that, it quickly died down in popularity and not many people still talk about Pearl to this day. And I'm here to bring out the highlights and lowlights of Pearl because I think it is a very complex an interesting movie to watch. And I think because it turned into this joke that it is overlooked in a lot of different ways. I think some people think it's overhyped when I think that is a very big misconception because it is just so viral due to the jokes made around it, but not very much so because of the content of the story. Have you ever allowed my old things to take? I'm sorry, mom. Your clothes are just, they're just fucking hot. They're hot. Your clothes are really hot and I want to wear them. It's like, I'm sorry. Why are you storing away all this stuff? I want to wear it. One day you'll never see me again. I know what you're going to say. You're going to say that I'm going to say this reminds me of uh, a certain 50s movie. That's not at all what I'm going to say it reminds me of. It reminds me exactly of the cult classic movie, the Hannah Montana movie. It's basically the same plot. It is the same plot. It's about a girl wanting to follow her dreams of being a performer, but having to work and spend time in a farm taking care of cows and chickens. That's the same plot. And then finding a boy that she risked it all for. I'm sorry, is that not the same plot? I'm sorry, that's literally the same plot. And I'm, I'm gonna keep talking about this because I feel like it is very overlooked. The goose didn't do anything, might I add. The goose was doing classic goose things, like standard goose behavior. And look at what, she kills him for that, for being a goose. She literally kills the goose for being a goose. I want you to notice what the parents look like. And I want you to tell me what you Six think they five. look like. You have five seconds to guess. Leave down your guesses below what you think I'm gonna say that the mom and the dad look like. Comment them down below. You're right. I'm going to say that the dad and the mother look exactly like Howard and Pearl in X. I mean, obviously Howard and Pearl look way more decrepit and crazy and scary, but we can see where the source material is from. That's fucking crazy. It's fucking crazy. I know it's not that big of a deal. It's not that big of a deal, but I was thinking that I, well, I thought about that the like third or fourth time I saw this movie. And I want to see if you guys knew what I was saying. I want to see if you guys could guess what I was going to say. Till death do us part. Your loving husband. Howard. That was a big moment for me. It was a big moment for me that I realized that he was not like Howard. The Howard was not going to be in this movie. He was off at war the entire time during this movie is something that was really devastating to me because I find 
his role within X to be also fascinating. I do think we need an ha a, a Howard spinoff short film, an idea of what they think Howard does when he's off at war, and the the conversation after after Pearl. What happens after Pearl with Howard and Pearl? Because obviously they're still together by X, but Howard just comes back and is like, okay, like, that's why I was so shocked that he wasn't gonna be in this movie. And I think we need another movie about Howard. Did you guys notice the Easter egg? The guy was wearing a sign that said, we shall not accept a life we do not deserve. I never saw that until now. Cigarette? If you know him from Hollywood, then you get it. If you know him from Hollywood, then you get it. Cause I love Hollywood. Hollywood is one of my favorite shows that no one ever lets me have joy for because they say it's cheesy or escapism and they don't like it. I love it, even if it's corny, even if it's like a little bit poorly written. I love that fucking show. I love that fucking show. That, that's where I saw him. That was the first time I ever saw him and I fell in love with him. He is so fine. He is so, like, he is so gorgeous. And he has a freaking mustache in this. He has a freaking mustache in this movie. And that's my husband. And he's gonna be the new Superman. He's gonna be the new Superman. So like we, we really get to win every single day with him being employed. <laughs> like it's, there's bird shit on it. There's bird shit on there. I'm married! I'm married and then proceeds to assault the scarecrow. What do you mean you're married? In the time, during a pandemic? During a pandemic, you're making out with bird poop scarecrow in the middle of a pandemic. And then on top of it, you decide to do a sexual act with it. On top of that, it was already bad. Yeah, Pearl really isn't worth defending. I don't think so. Now interrupting very quickly for today's sponsor, Sundays. Now, if you follow me for a bit or you follow me on Instagram, you follow me on Twitter, you have been subscribed for a little bit, you have seen a furry little creature running around here and there, a furry little creature being posted. That is my dog Juno. I love Juno and I'm sure you guys do too, or I hope you do. I'm a very proud dog mom. I do everything for her. She is a very pampered girl. I'm talking grooming, I'm talking bows, I'm talking costumes, I'm talking walks, I'm talking like she is a city girl dog, she gets to live an extraordinary life. And to live an extraordinary life, I have to make sure I'm also feeding her something extraordinary. Sundays makes food for dog that is nutritious whole foods that makes feeding your dog as simple as possible. So if you know anything about dogs and you have a poodle or you have a doodle, you know doodles and poodles have very, very sensitive stomachs. Juno is not the exception, she is the rule. She fits into that to the T. We have gone through the ringer. I got Juno when she was a puppy, so I have been through it when it comes to finding her perfect dog food. It has been so many different trials of finding whether I should cook the food myself, whether I should use kibble, whether I should use half kibble, half fresh, whether I should do the frozen foods, whether I should do this, whether I should do that, whether I should be doing additives to her food, whether I should not be doing additives to her food. It has been a journey. And looking into air dried food and what that means for Juno, I was really excited to try Sundays out. So they were nice enough to send me a couple of their bags of their food. And Juno has had a successful journey on it. By that, I mean, we have solid stool. We have regular stool. Th these are very exciting things for me as someone who has cleaned up so much liquid poop. When I mean so much liquid poop, I mean so much liquid poop. Sundays is vet founded and vet run. Sundays gently air dries whole foods to preserve their nutrition and flavor. That means no high temperature cooking like kibble or messy defrosting like frozen brands. Dr. Tori Waxman started Sundays because she couldn't find a dog food that was as nutritious as home cooked meals or as convenient as dry food. Dr. Tori runs their recipe formulation process and ensures their food is truly naturally complete and balanced. But as you can see in the video here, she loves it. She's eating it like it's no other. 
And I've just seen her do very, very well on this food, which is really important to me because I'm the one cleaning it up. And I know the struggles if you're starting off dog parenthood and trying to find a dog food that suits your specific dog's needs. With Sundays, they actually offer samples for you to try to see if it even works with your dog's stomach because that's the worst thing ever to go to the grocery store or go to the pet store, pick up the dog food, realize your dog either doesn't like the taste of it or it very much upsets their bowel movements. So you can give your dog the chance to try Sundays and watch them fall in love. So to get 35% off today, you guys can go to sundays.com slash trend level or use code trend level at checkout. And thank you Sundays for sponsoring today's video and giving Juno something that doesn't give her explosive diarrhea. Well, I didn't expect to see you again this soon. Oh, this is when I have to stop saying that he's like really cute. Like he's really cute and I love him and he's so beautiful, but this is where I, this is where I stop getting to say that he's attractive because his character becomes really weird and creepy. So yeah, yeah. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. You were bigger than the whole sky. You were more than just a short time. How about a film nobody else has seen? I watched this when I was old enough to understand what was going on through this movie and I still did not quite catch it. I don't know how I watched this scene of him showing this obviously younger girl an illegal movie and not understanding that, oh, like he was trying to groom her into becoming a part of the business. I don't know how that slipped my brain and I know you're thinking, Trin, you admit things that make you look stupid so often it is it is is it is a tough watch always tough watches with you trin always tough to listen to but i have to say it it's in my brain so i have to say it i can't not say things that are that i think of the fact and truth of the matter is pearl you only get one take at this life and if you don't make the most of it when you're young you don't get a second chance I also think a lot of people pass off Pearl to be just another like crazy girl movie, which I also have an entire opinion about these like crazy girl movies and uh, an audience's perception of it and kind of the trend of it all. But when watching Pearl, it really does set it up to be like, Pearl is just this inherently evil being. When when I'm watching it, you see she's, She's being exposed to things she shouldn't be exposed to. She's obviously very young and also still has an even younger, I don't know how old she is in this movie, but it is not, it is not that old. It is not that old. And we can see her childlike mannerisms. The way she holds her spoon is childlike. The way she talks to the animals, the way she, she talks to her parents, it is all very innocent and childlike until all of a sudden it's not. This is obviously an older man manipulating her, telling her that she can be a performer because he wants her to be a performer in porns, in porn, which is illegal at this time. He's exposing her to this imagery and seeping it into her brain. And then she becomes more and more obsessed with this idea and what she cannot be, but what she wants to be. And it just keeps getting deeper within every single interaction she has within the movie and throughout life. Let alone the illness you may contract and spread. She's a freaking super spreader. Partying during the pandemic. <gasps> So it was true that she was kind of an anti-masker. She didn't care about what disease she was contracting or spreading. <gasps> Wait, that was a joke earlier? That was a joke. I didn't realize that I was actually true. I was actually right. I was actually right. I didn't even know it. Spend my days feeding and wiping the snot off the face of the man I married. <laughs> He's like, why say fuck me for? Why say fuck me for? He literally just has to listen to everyone hate on him and be a hater. This. Yeah. Take it. That's what you really desire, isn't it? Perhaps I should kill him for you. He's like, please, like what did I do? He didn't do anything other than get sick. And they're like, we should kill him, right? Let's kill him, let's kill him, right? Right. He's a fucking like- What? Taken from me. Yeah. What more do you want? I just don't want him to block you is all. I would have never said that to someone that just had that whole monologue. Why would you ever say that to someone who just said that? 
The corn. <laughs> corn water saves lives yet again. But how dare you look at your mother and say, I don't want to end up like you. Maybe you did deserve to like get slapped because who says that? Your mom just talks about how miserable she is and then the first thing you say to her is, I just don't want to end up like you. Like that's li like that. Honestly, like I'm just trying not to end up like you is all. How does Pearl get to the age that she does within X? Because her natural instinct to survive is quite low. It is quite low. Because the stuff that comes out of her mouth is not the smartest. It's not, it, we're not thinking, we're not thinking straight. Hey, but at least she got to have sex. I mean, at least she got that, at least she got that. Also, can I add, with the corn that she threw on the mom and the corn that's at the table, it was a lot of corn for three people. Granted, like, they probably saved some of it, but even with the stuff saved, it seems like a, an abundance of corn. I don't think they would be able to eat that much corn already cooked without it, like, rotting. A am I tripping? I don't know the corn life expectancy at all, but it doesn't seem like they could eat all that corn that quickly. Or maybe they're just really hungry all the time. I don't know. What's its name? We don't have a dog. I thought you said you uh, did in the cellar. Oh. Come on, Pearl. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, how does she survive that long? And how do they cover up so many murders if she can't even lie once to this fool? No way no cop has never been suspicious. I guess that's why she has Howard. I guess Howard is the one that does all the talking because he actually can lie. Now's not the time to be resting on your laurels, is it? Girl, what laurels? I think you have to have a win to like say that. Oh, that was mean. Also very Abby Lee Miller of him, not only me. We're both Abby Lee Miller. No more resting on your laurels. What? When will I see you? I don't know, Pearl. It's just an expression. You're not going to take me to Europe, are you? Tell me the truth. Truth. Why are you leaving me? What did you say? Why did you change? You're scaring me, Pearl. She's just like me, actually. It's crazy. You're not going to leave me here. I'm not staying on this phone. I would at least have waited until he was out of the car, and then I would have taken the car. I mean, honestly, I think that was a good kill. All kills have been valid. Like, I think, except for the goose, I think the mom, mean, I mean, I probably wouldn't have killed her, but like, honestly, in the battle between them, like, it, it was just what had happened. That guy was trying to take her to Europe to be a porn star, which she obviously, and tried to play it off that she was gonna be a performer. This young girl that he was trying to manipulate into being a porn star when porn stars didn't even exist, she probably wouldn't have been getting any money and it probably would have been really, really scary. It has to be me. <laughs> I don't think you meant to say that out loud, Pearl. <laughs> I don't even have an issue with her killing people. It's like the fact that she like has this confidence with no practice or effort to be better is infuriating. It, it, you think you're the best and you're not practicing or putting in the work to be the best. And that's what bothers me. Not that she's killing people. I think that's fine. I'm just... The red door, simple, beautiful, signifies going into a whole new world. I love it. I love it. Right, June? We love red. We love red. Thank you. Thank you. It's like, who are the judges either too? It's like the, the Monopoly man. See, I'm all over the place right now because it's like everybody in this movie, I just have some reason to hate. I haven't liked any person in the movie. I do like Mitzi actually a lot. But the thing is, is that like the panel of judges is literally like the Pringles man, uh, Nanny McPhee and Mary Poppins. They think they know what dancing is, but I'll show them what dancing is. She's so Kelsey from High School Musical. You are the music in me. I love this dance. But I don't think she's good enough to be in the group.
Okay, easy. Like, that does not take that much effort, guys. Like, she didn't take all this time practicing. It's not enough to be a rocket. You thought you were gonna be a rocket with those kicks? Are you kidding me? Thank you. Mm -mm. But it's gonna be a no. This is how I felt when Adam Lambert didn't win American Idol. Come on, I'm, not, I'm sorry. It's time to go. No, I'm, I'm a star. star. Please, Please, I'm a star. Please, I'm a star. Please. Please. Please, I'm a star. I'm a star. What the heck? Why am I an actress, guys? And cut. Like, there, there's something in here, guys. There's, there is X Factor in here. <laughs> the only time I can ever relate to her in the entire fucking movie right here. <laughs> yeah, that's the only time I can relate to her is when she's actually <laughs> crying. The snot is so me. Like, take the mascara, the snot. <laughs> I don't feel well. You're not coming down with someone, are you? No, it's nothing like that. Oh, thank goodness. So the next scene that happens is a really long monologue that Pearl does all to Mitzi. And she is saying this in, uh, in a way to talk to Howard. Mitzi says, talk to me like I'm Howard. Tell me how you feel and tell me what you want to say. If he was right here, tell me what you would say to him. And Pearl goes on this big confessional and tells her everything. Why I'm saying this is because I can't include all of that. It's like, and it's a lot of context within that monologue that I just can't include all of it. It's way too long, but it is a brilliant, brilliant monologue. It is one of my favorites that I've ever watched. And I think it is a very crucial part of this movie that a lot of people overlook in terms of its uh, success. I think it is an incredible performance by Mia Goth. Obviously the whole movie is, uh, or this is a very long one take of this monologue and it is glorious. If there is anything that you ever wonder about X, about Pearl, uh, it is told within this scene. And throughout this entire movie, you're looking at her actions, you're seeing her be a bad person, and you're thinking like, what the fuck is wrong with this girl? And in this monologue, she fully confesses to like hating herself to truly hating herself and despising the, the the life that she lives. To only go to the next movie with an ex 50 years later and being in the exact same spot that she was and she despised her mother for being in. Pearl is not really a scary movie in my opinion. I think it does have gore, but in terms of a horror, I think it definitely is not in the realms of X. I thought X had a lot more fear factor than Pearl, but the details of Pearl make what happens in X so much better. Obviously that's the whole point. And I think we're gonna have the same thing within Maxine, seeing how much Pearl's story impacts hers and possibly getting to a point where Maxine faces the same fate that Pearl does, promising everyone that she's gonna be a star, believing in herself that she is going to make it out of there. She's not gonna be like anyone else. She's not gonna be like Pearl, the person who killed all of her friends. She's not gonna be that. She's gonna be better, cause she's better. And I find that maybe we come to a point within Maxine, that she might end up the exact way that she despised everyone else for being. I'm so happy you're home. Also, might I just add, she could have totally hid those bodies and told him that they died from whatever sickness was going around. And she chose not to do that. She chose to say, Howard, this is the meal, real me. Um, I won't mention that I killed your sister, but like, I did kill my parents and I want you to know that. And then he goes, then, then after all that, he goes, he literally, I know his mindset. Pussy too good, pussy too good. He goes, that's fine. That's fine. Not only is it fine, but I'm going to join you in this endeavor. I'm going to fucking join you. And he's with her till the very last second. Love me at my craziest, right? Like I love that till death do us part for real, but come on. How did he survive her? I'm sure he said something that it must have upset her. He survives? That way that little boy survives. 
he is, that little boy is not surviving that. How does that little boy become Howard in the next movie, which also looks exactly like her dad? And her as an old lady looks exactly like her mom. I can't look at her face anymore. I have to stop. Oh my God, I stopped it right on her like nose booger coming out. Ugh. I can't do it with snot because I just imagine how it like is so salty. I really love Pearl. I love watching Pearl. I think it's a very fun movie to watch. It gives you, it's a very interactive movie for me where I get to really have fun with it. There's parts that make me laugh now. There's parts that make me cry. I think it is a fairly like dynamic movie. And I still stand by the fact that I think that it goes overlooked a lot because of its viral, uh, viral status, that it had such a, a heavy impact on internet culture, whereas in a sense, uh, the actual movie, not many people have seen it. People know the sound bites, but not a lot of people have seen it. And I think that's a shame because I think it's a really good movie. And I think it was a really good movie of 2022. But let me know what you guys thought of Pearl in the comment section down below and make sure you guys watch my video on X that I'll leave at the end of the video and in the description. Uh, I really want to know your thoughts on this movie because it can go either way. Either people love, uh, either people love the kind of uh, exaggeration uh, campiness of it or people like hate it. So I want to know where you guys fall because I think this is um, a very interesting movie to talk about. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Share it with your friends if you liked it even more. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.